very big welcome to everyone. I am so excited to be able to bring you this second layout for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. I am using their core product for the month of February. And what I did first was I went to my silhouette machine and I cut out my letter V that you see there. At this point, I have an idea forming in my head, which you will see down the track. So don't worry about the ugly V at the moment. I am just trying to find the right papers for this photo. And I decide on the papers from Photoplay. And they are the, the two papers I choose are the actually uh, two coordinating papers. Uh, the lovely pink one with the tents and this lovely green paper in front of you. Now these papers are from Photoplay and they are called Live Wild. These papers are part of our core product for the month of February. So if you go to Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft, which I will leave a link in the description below, you will find that they are all on special. So I chose this green paper mainly because it brings out the, the blue green in my daughter's eyes and I absolutely it just made the photo pop so I cut a square of seven inches by seven inches and on this cut apart sheet I knew I wanted to use this uh, what is it a saying a title whatever you want to call it it says love you like crazy and man do I love this little girl she can infuriate me but I love her as I'm sure all mothers out there can relate to. The die set that I'm going to use next is from Lawn Fawn and they are called Valentine Borders. It is my chosen product for the month of February. So if you would like to get your own set, please go to Auntie Vera's website as they are on special. I'm showing my age here. You can see I've got one of the old cuddle bars, but it still works and does its job. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm using my Valentine borders and I'm going to cut quite a number of scripts because I don't know how many I'm going to need. This die cut is perfect if you wanted to make little love heart confetti, especially if you've got a wedding coming up. Oh, here's all my confetti. Isn't that cute? Anyway, I'm going to be working on my letter V and the letter V is for my daughter's name, which is Victoria. And as you can see, I've put some embossing ink on it. It's, and now I'm just adding the embossing powder. And the embossing powder is another one of my chosen products for the month of Feb. And it's from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And it's called Angel Wings Gold. This part here is the crazy bit. I decided for some reason I wanted to fringe these little itty bitty spots that were on my um, strips of love hearts and um, yes I admit it was time consuming but the effect was well worth it in the end but I was cursing myself as I was sitting there doing these little fringe cuts to adhere my what are we going to call these the heart fringed borders I originally tried using double-sided tape let me tell you it does not work on embossed paper so I resorted to using my Tombow glue and that worked a treat. So all I'm going to be doing is I've got a strip of green, a strip of pink, and I fringe, I fringe all my little strips and then I glue them onto my letter V. And I'm going to save you the agony of watching this because it did take a while. After all that work, here's a close up of the end results. I love my letter V, but it's just not popping off the page. So I went and I got my Inca Gold in the colour Old Silver, another one of my chosen products for the month of Feb from Auntie Vera. And all I am doing is I put some of that um, gold mousse onto my little mat there and I'm just using my finger to rub it onto my letter V. Uh, nothing hard about it, uh, a bit, bit messy, but I love the end result. The Inca Gold really, really just um, glammed up my letter B. I absolutely love it. As I've probably mentioned before, I don't plan my layouts. They somehow just evolve as I'm working on them. And this is where I decided that I wanted everything to just pop a little bit more and let all the individual papers stand out. So what I did was I got my trimmer and I'm just trimming about, about two mils on all four sides of my 
my paper and then I'm going to mat this on some white cardstock. In the end I also mat my 7 inch square and I also mat my photo with the same white cardstock. I like how it's all coming together. I like how by matting all the different papers and my photos with that same white cardstock how it just unifies everything but at the same time it lets individual paper shine if that makes sense the cut apart that says love you like crazy that's going to become my title the chipboard that i'm playing with here are from scrap mats and at this point in time i don't really know what i'm going to do with them so i'm just playing with positioning and trying to see how i'm going to get this to work eventually it dawns on me to use these chipboard circles as part of the title once my decision is made that I'm going to turn my title into a circle, I take out my embossing ink and I'm just going to ink my chipboard. Then I'm going to be using my Lindy's Stamp Gain Embossing Powder, which is my chosen product for the month. And I'm going to sprinkle it all over it and then get my heat gun and melt that embossing powder. And it looks fabulous. I'm going to be using my Tombow Liquid Glue to on my chipboard to glue it onto the cut apart. I'm going to be using the bunny from the sticker sheet but what I did was I put the bunny on a piece of cardstock because I can never commit to something and if you use it as a sticker you have to commit and there it is so I just prefer to use it more as an embellishment and here I am I'm just cutting my uh, fussy cutting my title which will become a circle now I did lose a lot of the footage uh, my file became corrupted so I'm sorry but that the end process was just me gluing everything down. So you haven't really missed much. Um, here are some close-ups. Thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to making my third layout with this lovely enabler kit. So bye everybody.